So is it just me or does that not look like 22 boosters? That just looks like, I don't know, maybe 15? But I promise it's 22 booster packs. It just looks like, I don't know, really, really small. But this is what's left over from yesterday's colossal opening. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out before you watch this one because it was a complete game changer. To say I'm nervous is probably an understatement because yesterday's opening was just the best thing ever. And dude, any more of those, I'm gonna freak out. Holy smokes, look at this, boys! We've hit the jackpot! One, two, three, four, five, six! Oh! So yeah, massive shout out to Chaos Guards. If you guys want any Pokemon products, I'll link them down below with my 5% off discount code. They made all of this possible. But without further ado, let's get into the last 22 boost packs right here. I reckon we've got so many full arts coming up this episode. We've got so many bangers that we're about to get. But at the end of all of this, right, once I've opened up the 22 boosters, I've got 22 different Shining Charizards. And uh, I've finished jumping out my window 22 times. I'm going to do a recap of everything we got. And oh honey, I mean everything. Golden cards and shiny requires and jumbo cards included. As I say that, we pull a shiny red moustached Wimpod. No, seriously, that's like the reddest moustache ever. Kind of looks sharp as well. But that's a fantastic start. I'm going to take a shiny, even though we've already got this bad boy. That's all good in the hood and a regular rare Arbok. All right, shiny Wimpod, I'm not celebrating too early. I reckon we've got so many banging pulls coming up. We've got a bird's trio right now. Second booster in. Let's try and go two for two. Double cheeseburger it. Hopefully with the... Uh, I'm hoping like a bunch of shining full luck cards this episode as well. Because we only got... Was it one last... Yesterday? I think it was literally one. The Ho-Ho. And that was it. Star you Ekans. Caterpie. We're going to Paris. Charmander. And then another back-to-back -back shiny bolt. The MC right here. Which looks fantastic. And then none other than a Gyarados GX as well. Dragon Rage and Hyper Beam GX. Oh my goodness, I told you this would be a good episode. DNC shiny card. Now we have got this one as well, it is a double up, but you can't be mad at shining cards, guys. I think I made that a rule a while ago. Like, honestly, even if you get just a holo, that's still a holo card, and I think Hidden Fates kind of numbs us to, like, the great pulls. So when we see something good, you respect it. I mean, back-to-back -back shining cards and a double cheeseburger in the last one. That's fantastic. Let's try and do a triple cheeseburger. Let's get a turkey, as they call it in Wii Bowling. Paris, Canopy, Charmander, and then back-to-back, -back, that's the triple cheeseburger in case shiny. And then, a, like, that's a regular electrode. I don't care. Shiny in K. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just pulled three shiny vaults in a row. Let's do it. Let's go for four layers on a cheeseburger. Probably going to give you a heart attack or something because that's a lot of layers on a cheeseburger. But let's do it. Oh my gosh, that's proper triple cheeseburger status. I've never got here before. Especially in Hidden Fates, right? Where that's valuable stuff. Electric, Misty, Scyther, Sabrina, Cubone, Geodude. I'm ready to die. Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Misty. Oh, could you imagine if that was a card? Oh, I just feel like, you know what? That was just warming us up. It's like, Ando, the Charizard is going to be in this episode. This is going to be the one I pull it in. And as I said before, this is one of the last Hidden Fates products to ever come out. So if we don't get a Charizard now, I have to go back and buy some old products trying to complete the set. Ekans, Paris, reverse Arbok, I mean reverse Ekans, then Arbok regular rare. So there's a bit of pressure on this episode. I think in like filling in a lot of uh, blank slots that I have in the binder. Filling in a lot of like ultra rare sections I still need to get. Is it going to be... Eh, it's going to be tough, isn't it? The Tapa Bulu gold card I reckon is going to be a tough one to try and find. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, and a regular reverse Farfetch. Now we're starting to get all these regular rares with that Zapdos right there. Here's the code cards for you guys. 22 different code cards one episode. I'm sure one's got something good inside. Even if it's not a Charizard, hopefully it's a gold card or something. We've got a Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans. Dude, there we go, Zapdos Holocard. Wait a minute, was that other Zapdos a holo? It was, it was a holocard. Yo, I didn't even see it. It's really dark outside today. It's like pouring with rain. But, that's wild. All right. Two Zapdos cards right there. That's actually pretty hard to see because it's got a really dark background. But that, that next one sort of caught the light. That's all right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna clock off a couple of Zapdos Hollows. 
Let's go fourth in the back, swing it around. I reckon this one's got something. We've got Unlisted Leaf Energy, Magma, Scyther, Brock's Grit, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans. We've got an EV. And then none other than another for our Jesse and James trader card right there. We pulled one yesterday. How bananas is this? Like, low-key, we're going to have the most full arts in a recap I reckon I've ever done in the history of Unlisted Leaf. I honestly believe I've never had more, like, full art cards to recap on. But we'll put that Jesse and James to the side right there. And we're going to keep this moving. That one busted open really suspiciously fast. It's also because the glue that they use on these boosters, it sticks to the back of the packs because they try to glue all the boosters into the box. Pulling them all out, it was actually a tough task. Uh, I'm to, oh my gosh, look what happened here! That's why it didn't seal. The clamper machine got the poor magic up. Did that ruin the re No, this is one card. Look at that. Holy. They really stuffed that one up. Alright, Geo Dude. I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe we might get something crazy. Vaporeon Hollow's not too bad. <laughs> they really just cooked that magic card, didn't they? Alright. Let's keep going. There's the uh, code card for you guys. Let's go fourth in the back. Swing it around. We got Fire Type Energy right there. Pokemon Sun Lady, Metapod, Misty, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Misty Reverse, and a regular Rare Claw Fable. When I see Charmander, part of me just sort of thinks, oh, are they hinting? Is that them trying to tell us that potential is coming up? I don't know. I'm, I think I'm getting way too excited. <laughs> I'm just sort of living off the pulls that we got in that original box where we just got a bunch of really good stuff. And then yesterday, how we only got one full art. In my mind, I'm just thinking, today's the day. We're going to rack and stack a couple of bad boys. But here we are just getting, like, regular rares. Let's hope Arceus has sort of come down to bless us and is going to put everything in the last couple of boosters right now. Or maybe the code card's just blessed. And I'm just getting the poop physical pulls. We got Fighting Tide right there. Brock, Koga, Misty as well. Jigglypuff. Eevee, we're going to Paris, we're going to Ekans, Surviper Shiny, yo, oh, do I need this one or not, I cannot remember for the life of me, but that is fantastic, it looks like he's got like, um, oh, what is it, ah, uh, I can't even think of it, that singer that has like red on his face, it looks exactly the same, oh my goodness me, that is fantastic, Surviper Shiny, and then Jesse and James Holo, that's pretty good, Holo and then Surviper, Okay, we're getting a lot of these regular shinies. So I'm sort of coming to the conclusion now. I reckon what's happened. Look at this. Look at this. That's from the glue. Um, I reckon what's happened is Pokemon sort of give you a lot of full arts, right? In the premium powers box, they're like, have a gold card full art, have a shiny full art, have another gold card full art. Oh, wait, we've put too many full arts in the box. Let's give them a bunch of regular shinies inside as the physical pulls. Because, yeah. We're getting a stupid amount of those. And compare it to how many, like, shiny full arts we got, not many at all. Charmander, Hogus Trap, and then an Onyx GX once again. Let's be real, it wouldn't be an Ando unboxing of Hidden Fates unless I pulled 20,000 Onyx GXs, because that's what everyone needs in their life, isn't it? Just an abundance of Onyxes. Alright, there's the code for you guys. We're coming so close to the end, by the way. I honestly think we're past the halfway mark, which is really scary. When I unboxed six of these, I was kind of thinking as well, maybe two Charizards, but I don't know anymore. Clefairy, Koga, Butterfree Regular Rare. It's Charizard time. Charizard out the Charizard pack. I just want to do it. We got Code Card right there. Fourth in the back. This is the booster pack. We got a Metal Type Energy. We got a Metapod, Jinx, Magma, Voltorb, Pikachu as well, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, and then Glossopod GX. Full art shiny card! That is a flat out banger! Oh my goodness, another Onyx for the boys. We're just gonna put that one in the back like that never happened. But yo! Glossopod GX! Those eyeballs be like piercing your soul. But look at those attacks as well. Armor press, first impression, crossing cut GX with 150. Hot diggity daffodils, this is good. Okay, there's our full art Glossopod. I low key think this is what I need as well. I love this. We're checking off uh, a couple of things I needed. Put Golosopod in the back. It's time for a Mew Booster right now. Pull the wrapper off. I'm going to count how many I've got after this one as well, because I don't think it's too many. Oh no, fourth in the back. Here we go, you ready? Psychic type right here. Then we're going to Magma, doing his... Uh, he's blowing those fire tricks again. Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, 
Geodude, Clefairy, oh not Clefairy, Eevee, Psyduck, and a Mr. Mime regular rare. Look at this. This is all we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Less than a box to go. I'm praying I sort of mix these up and it's not just one continuous box of pulls. Put you to the side. There we go. And let's do it. Oh no! Oh, this is so close to the end. Fairy type, Magma, Charmeleon, Graveler, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone as well. Oh my god. Oh, that's not bad at all! Another full art card! This recap is gonna be off the that's charts. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno Full Art GX. I know it doesn't sell for much, and you guys hate me getting excited over it. I don't care. A full art card is a full art card in my mind. It's fantastic. That is awesome. Okay. Put that in the back. It's another one to add to the uh, recap at the end, if I don't say so myself. And let's open a birds again. Let's try and somehow take this home. Get a touchdown right towards the end. Otherwise, we got four boosters after this. Swing it around. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Always a good start. That gives you a bit of a lucky symbol to start things off. Magma. Here we go, guys. You're holding on. Magic up. Star you. Voltorb. Pikachu. And then none other than the regular birds. That's so poetic. Holy smokes. The pause this part has actually been really good. Let's be honest. No need to get angry because we've actually had really, really good luck. I reckon it's because we have a goal in mind. We're not we're not like sort of getting near that goal. Let's open this one up. Pull that to the side. And then after this, three booster packs remaining. Swing it around, darkness type energy now. You gotta do me proud, Arceus. If you're watching up there, Chansey, Graveler, Giovanni, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone. <gasps> Every time I see a reverse, it's like a subtle jab to the abdomen. Boop! And I'm like, oh! Okay, new two. Arceus, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but if you are, I've never needed you to come down and bless some boosters for me. Look at that, they're all dented for some reason. Oh my goodness, okay. If uh, there's a full art card or something on the back, we gotta inspect it. There was like serious, I don't know how that happened. The guy in the factory like banging on the table for it. Oh, yes! Is this hinting towards something? What do you guys think? Charmeleon, shiny card right there. That is an absolute banger. I love how many sparkles on that card too. It's absolutely so sick. Okay, Charmeleon, shiny. Then there was another card after. Regular red golem. Not too shabby. I'll take a Charmeleon, shiny. Put Charmeleon at the back right there, and then we're gonna go... Is this the second to last one? Oh, it is. It's a Charizard. Isn't that fitting? Charizard to end it all. Mewtwo, is everyone ready? Everyone sit down. This is the second to last Pokemon Hidden Fates booster I'm opening of the newest sort of product, and maybe even the last product. I think there's one more, which is like a premium version of this coming out. Then that's it. That's the end of the road. Darkness type. Pokemon Center Lady, please Arceus, coughing. We got Clefairy, we got a star you, Jigglypuff. Oh my goodness. Yummity, 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 yummity. Charizard, please, I'm begging you right now. Please, all right, someone kiss this. Let's go, let's do it. Oh my goodness, okay, come on. There is so much riding on you right now, Charizard, you don't understand. You just give me something, okay? Ended off with an absolute rip snorter. I'm going fourth in the back. We're gonna swing it around, not spoil anything. Water type, far fetched. Brock, Chansey, coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke. <sighs> Let's have a recap. I don't say this lightly at all, but I reckon this might be the top 10 recaps we've ever done on the channel. Like, apart from maybe a couple videos where we just like really just got a bunch of EXs in Mailman Monday or something, this out of just six boxes is gnarly. This is ridiculous. Like, okay, let's start here. We've already got these cards that we've already seen before, but we'll go over them again. Like, the Jumbo Shining requires a full arts, all six of them. And then you got the regular requires a versions right there. They're like all textured, there's literally nothing wrong with them. They're just like promo cards you're guaranteed in the box. Exactly the same goes with the Lunalas and the Solgaleos, but they're all pure gold cards. 
That is like, that in itself? Ridiculous. I cannot stress that enough. I can't believe that. But then chuck in the jumbo card as well. That's nuts as well. Then we've got this ridiculous amount of full art cards out of just six boxes. Giovanni, two Jesse and James, the birds, Golosopod, Fisherman, Ho-Ho. It's so sick. I reckon my favorite's probably Ho-Ho out of the lot. I love the legendary birds, but I also love the Fisherman's artwork. Let me know in the comment section below. Out of all of this so far, what's your favorite? I think Sol Galio, then Rayquaza, then Lunala for me. But I don't know, it's, it's a tough one. Then we've also got our shinies as well. We really racked and stacked them. Like, I really underestimated how many shinies I'd put in this thing. But we got Inkei, Survivor, Wooper, Theramosa, Wimpod, Charmeleon, Sudowoodo, Curlia, Beldum, and Deancey. So a bunch of really cool ones. GXs, as usual, Onyx tears it up. Bunch of Wigglytuffs as well. Good variety. And then the Hollows. I love they're not overrun by Hollows either. Really good amount. Hollows are really refreshing as well in the boosters. But then you just look at all this, and you think, Oh mama, this came out of just six boxes. If you enjoyed this ridiculous opening, definitely demolish the like button. Thanks again to Chaos Cards. But guys, this is going down in history. I'll see you then.